Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now is a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a brand which you know I love. If you've ever been to this channel before, you know I adore the Inky List. Fantastic British brand, cruelty-free, keep fragrance and colorant to an absolute minimum, and their price point is to die for. Well, they've come out with a new sweet of um, products specifically for the scalp and hair. So this is kind of new for them and this is really something that came about in 2020 where previous to this year our hair was always separate. The scalp was part of the hair, was seen as part of the hair care and treated very separately. Then 2020 came along and suddenly we've started to see some of the fantastic active ingredients in skincare working their way into hair care, scalp care and it kind of becoming more blurred which I actually think is fantastic because I never understood why the scalp was treated so differently to the face. It's an extension, it's the same skin, different issues potentially but still very much the same skin, the same issues that you could treat with these active ingredients. So I think this is fantastic and the Inky List have come out with a gorgeous range of eight products specifically for the scalp and hair. You guys have gone mad for this. You've been DMing me, letting me know when it launched and I had to wait a bit because I had to get my hands on these products and they sold out like that. Not a surprise that the Inky List has a fantastic reputation so all of their products sell out on launch and I waited for it to be restocked. I've tried most of them. I will be saying where I haven't tried a product because it wasn't applicable to my hair or scalp type. So some of the products I haven't tried, but I will let you know as we go along which ones I have and haven't. And we'll just get into it and see if any of them are worth the splurge. I will say from the start, I adore the Inky List and this review may be a little bit surprising to a lot of people on my thoughts. I thought I'd be super biased and just be like, do you know what, it's the Inky List, I'm gonna love it and have done with it. I tried the product, I used them, and I've got some very different thoughts to my usual, oh my God, 10 out of 10 products that the Inky List do usually come out with. So definitely worth staying tuned because there's some good and there's some bad in this selection. First of all, I'm gonna start with positivity with my favorite product of the whole collection. I love this. I knew I was gonna love it from the start and I loved it when I applied it. That is the Salicylic Acid Exfoliating Scalp Treatment. In the UK, £11.99, $15 in the US. I'll leave an image of it there. Beautiful product. So, the scalp, very much like the rest of your skin, becomes clogged. Um, often, if you get a dry, itchy scalp, a flaky scalp, it's not because your skin is lacking hydration. The scalp is lacking hydration. It's because that cellular turnover is happening and they're not getting rid of the dead skin cells quick enough, which is when you get dandruff. You get itchiness because those um, dead skin cells are hanging on to the hair follicle and itching the scalp. Just very unpleasant. I'm lucky. I don't really have a dry, flaky scalp and my hair isn't too oily. The rest of my skin an oil slick, but somehow my scalp just happens to be normal so you know there's a saving grace in there but a lot of people think that they need to add hydration to the scalp where actually exfoliating is the way forward salicylic acid is fantastic i wouldn't apply a glycolic acid to the scalp because what you want is something that will go into the follicle and do that deep exfoliation, which is exactly what salicylic acid does. It binds to oil, so it will help to level out the um, oil in your scalp. So if you're quite oily haired, this will be absolutely fantastic. If you feel like your hair gets very greasy very quickly, this will be a fantastic product for you. If you think of the amount of gunk and product that we put on our hair, even down to shampoos, which often have silicones in there, which cling to our scalp and cling to our hair, you've just got this buildup of debris, which is going to prevent the follicles from coming through healthily it can lead to thinning of hair it can lead to irritation and redness this is a really good product there are clarifying shampoos that work on the scalp out there so it's not like totally innovative and new but the salicylic acid i think is absolutely fantastic i love this like all in a lot of Inculus products, they've gone the extra mile. So it's not just salicylic acid in here. They've also put panthenol. Panthenol or B5 is fantastic, a fantastic vitamin A. Calming, soothing. Just if you've got redness or irritation, it's great. It's in the Cicaplast Balm, which is my go-to moisturizer by La Roche-Posay. I love it because it's so calming and soothing and it'll do the same for your scalp. So it'll help with the moisturization and the hydration, but it'll just calm and soothe the scalp. I love this product. You use it as pre-shampoo. So you put it on the scalp, you leave it 10 minutes, and then you shampoo, we go in the shower and shampoo the hair. That's not too bad because you should use it about two or three times a week. So it's not too bad. You just need to remember to do it before you're in the shower and you think, oh, I forgot. I forgot quite a few times. So you do need to think about it before you then go and shower. I love this product. Absolutely. If I was to change one thing about it, I'm going to give it a nine out of 10. If I was going to change one thing about it, be the dispenser. So it comes in a pump, you put it on your hand, and then you have to try and get it to your fingertips to massage in. I would love it if, like, this is the um, Dr. Wolf Alpacin Caffeine Liquid. 
this got really good adapter on it, which I absolutely love. A little bit more like that would be targeted to the scalp and make it so much easier to apply because you could just run it down sections of the scalp and then massage it in. So in case, if you're watching, I would just change up the packaging on this one to a bit more of an easier to dispense um, applicator. But other than that, gorgeous product, nine out of 10. Ding, ding, ding. We are off to a flying start. Now we go into the other product, which I say is absolutely fantastic and I love, and that is the caffeine st stimulating scalp treatment. So caffeine is fantastic at stimulating the follicles. I just showed you this, which is the Alpacin caffeine liquid. This is my go-to. What it does is it produces, it encourages the um, hair follicles to continue to produce, also invigorates them. So where we get a lot of hair loss or hair thinning, often it can be counteracted by a mild application of caffeine, which just gives a boost to that hair follicle to keep them working for longer. I've always sworn by the Alpacin treatment. It's absolutely fantastic. The only reason I would switch to this one over that one is this one is, it's got, it's got eucalyptus and menthol in, which I do find quite irritating. And I just don't like it. It's got that fragrance, which just isn't for me. And it's very strong. This is a much weaker, it's a 1% caffeine, which is weak, which I think works better for my scalp, less irritation. And you can use it in conjunction easily in conjunction with like the salicylic acid one that we just talked about. I love this product. There's been some criticism online saying it's not strong enough. The caffeine is like 1% when it could be higher. It could, but I think they've tried to make the product as universal as possible. And I would rather a product like this, which you use overnight, you leave on overnight. I'd rather this than some other products where it can irritate and sting the scalp as soon as you put it on. The Alpacin one, if it runs down the face, it starts to tingle and irritate the skin. So that's probably not doing your scalp that much good. So I'm definitely be switching from the Alpacin to this one. I love it and I probably will just use it a little bit more frequently to make sure I keep getting that caffeine fix for the hair. Love this. It's scientifically proven and absolutely fantastic. $14.99 here in the UK, probably around the $20 price point. So it's probably one of the more expensive of theirs, but still for a product that probably will last you, I'm going to say a month to a month and a half. I think that's really good. Again, the applicator could be better. So I'm going to give this an eight out of 10. I think they could have pushed the caffeine strength a little bit and the applicator could be better. But eight out of 10, that's still a fantastic, fantastic product. Now, unfortunately, we kind of part ways with quality at this point. <laughs> Some of the other ones I just wasn't fussed by. I just didn't think it was that good. So the next one is the pe peptide volumizing hair treatment. £9.99 here in the UK, $15 in the US. This is one that I haven't personally tried. That's because I don't have long, luscious locks that need that volumizing treatment to them. Uh, my hair's pretty thick anyway. And when it's short, really, you're not looking for that volume in the same way. So... I'm not sold on this. Um, the reason I don't rate this product is peptides are fantastic. They're great at hydrating. They're great at producing collagen, stimulating collagen production. I love peptides in skincare. On the hair, because this isn't a scalp treatment, this isn't on the hair treatment. You use it twice a week. I just don't really see the point. I don't see what it's going to be doing. To some extent, it might be bulking out the hair, so it might give the illusion of volume, but I don't believe over time it's going to produce volume naturally um, and encourage the, um, the follicles in the hair to be more vo produce more voluminous hair, voluminous hair. No, I'm not sold on this. Um, a lot of the issues I have with this brand is they say they've done lots of scientific studies which sit behind all of these. Now, the Inculist, I fully trust and I think their integrity is through the roof. I've no issue with that. But they haven't published these studies. I can't read them and make my own mind up on whether I think this is good. They say things like in a blind test, 85% of women felt that they had more vol voluminous hair. Yes, but a lot of these tests actually pre it's not the best scientific way to do it. Let's just put it that way. Um, a lot of these tests and samples can predispose people to believe what they think is happening is happening because they've been told this is what they're looking out for. I'm just, I'm not sure. Without seeing the studies myself, I'm not convinced on this as a product. And I think there's better hair volumizers out there. Speak to your hairdresser and I'm sure they'll recommend some because it's not my area of expertise. Then we're moving to the hyaluronic acid hydrating hair treatment. Same price, £10 here in the UK, $15 in the US. It says it's going to smooth and hydrate the um, hair. Mm, again, I'm a little bit sketchy on this. So the hyaluronic acid concentration is way down on the ingredients list and is super low concentration. So it's not going to have a meaningful impact. But your, your hair isn't alive like the rest of your skin where it can absorb that hyaluronic acid and do all its magic within the cell structure. It works differently. I think as a smoothing agent, it's going to smooth the hair. It's going to help tame some of that frizz. It will give a light hydration. So I think it probably will work. But I think there's better hair masks out there. If you're looking for hydration, 
I don't think this is the thing. I think this is where it starts to get a bit gimmicky. Because we love something on our face, doesn't mean it automatically works on the hair. And I think this is where the inkillist are kind of getting a little bit gimmicky and just using things like hyaluronic acid and peptides. And we're going to come on to some other doozies later on in this video where it's just p tricks people into thinking, I love hyaluronic acid on my skin. It's transformed my skin on the hair. It's going to be just as good. The hair is not the skin. And this is why I kind of part ways with this theory that skincare is hair care and the two are kind of the same. N not really, especially with a hair treatment, which is what this one is. I, I no, no. They don't even recommend you put it in contact with the scalp. On the scalp, it might do a little bit of hydrating. On the hair, I'm just not sold on this. Not a terrible product. It's one of those five out of 10. It's 10 pounds. Try it if you want to. If you love it, the Inky List, get your hands on it, try it. I just don't think it's going to do much more than marginal um, hydration and a bit of smoothing. And I think there's better products out there for that. Now we're moving on to possibly the two worst products in this collection. I just are oh, baffled. I don't know where they were going with this, but the vitamin C brightening hair treatment. It says it's harnessing all the brightening powers of vitamin C. Yes, in the skin, vitamin C goes into the skin. It has various reactions. It works through various metabolic pathways and it does act as an antioxidant, an exfoliator and a skin brightener. Yes, definitely. I'm fully sold. Vitamin C is gorgeous. I did a video on it. I'll link it up there. Check out vitamin C on the skin. Sensational your hair is dead. You do not, it will not work in the same way as it will in the skin. Vitamin C is going to do nothing, nada, zero for your hair. As an antioxidant, yes, it might reflect some of the rays. It might work a little bit to reduce sun damage to the hair, but uh, it's going to be marginal. And I just really, really don't get the point of this product. Um, it's £9.99. It's not that expensive, but it just seems to me that they thought, oh, vitamin C, again, is that skin care is hair care. It's, it's not. The scalp and the skin, yes, I get where there's synergies and similarities. The hair, totally different to the skin. This is just gimmicky and not something that I will be buying or supporting or think there's any, any need for in your skincare routine. Finally, the amino acid anti grey complex. This, I have a number of issues with. I didn't buy it. Because I do not have that many. I've got a few greys, but we're not talking about them. I don't have too many grey hairs, so it's not going to be something I can ever see. And they reckon four months before you start seeing results. Now, I'm not surprised because, you know, the hair is slow growing. It doesn't turn over quickly like the skin does. So it is very different. So I'm not surprised it does take four months. But I mean, come on. Who has four months to invest in a product to start working? It... The science behind it, they say it's thoroughly tested, but again, they've not released any of those studies. So how do we know? We can't look at it, peer review it and work out for ourselves. It's very gimmicky because they say the powerful um, amino acid enzyme, uh, the amino acid chain, Darkenil. This is what companies often do. They take a uh, protein, an amino acid or something, which they um, isolate or that is unique to them and they trademark it under a name which is a bit more sexy, a bit more glamorous, a bit more um, marketable and darkenil. You think, oh, if I put darkenil on my hair, my hair's going to be darker. And I love rubbish. It's just a brand name. I don't like that. It seems a bit gimmicky. Four months. Bear in mind, a bottle is going to last a month. So you're going to have to buy four bottles, invest four bottles, and it is £10 here in the UK. So you're £40 in before you've actually seen any results. I'm not sure that this is going to do much, if I'm honest. If they released the studies, I would look over them and then I'd make a more informed decision. But on the basis of it, I just can't see that this is going to do a lot for your skin and for your hair. And I think it's a bit gimmicky. I'm not a fan. Try it by all means. It's not break the bank money. So try it by all means. I just don't see how this is going to lead to reduction in grey hair in the skin. You better just get in a tin, go to your colorist, get it sorted or enjoy and embrace your grey hair. Whichever works for you. I don't think this product is going to be it. So there you have it. This is the rundown of the Inky List. They do have a Shea um, sort of super moisturizing one, which is out of stock everywhere. So I've not included in this video because they can't guarantee when it's going to be back in stock. So I have left that out, but you can look on the Inky List website if you want a little bit more detail about that. Overall, I'd say yes to the salicylic acid exfoliating scalp treatment. Gorgeous. The scalp needs the same treatments that your skin does. It needs that same love and I'm all in favour of that. That's a standout product, 9 out of 10. And I love the caffeine stimulating scalp treatment. I'm going to keep buying that and that is going to be my go-to caffeine solution for the hair. Caffeine's proven to reduce hair loss and to support the hair follicles in producing healthy and gorgeous hair. So yeah, I'm all on board with that. I think this is fantastic. That's where I part ways with this particular line. I love the Inky List. I think they're full of integrity. I think their formulations are fantastic. Their active ingredients are amazing. I think they've let it slip a tiny bit, if I'm brutally honest, with this hair care line. Two standout products and the rest are a bit... I'd leave. I just wouldn't bother with them. However, 
definitely, definitely check out the salicylic acid and the um, caffeine solution one. If you're worried about thinning, a bit lackluster hair, the caffeine is your go-to. It'd be absolutely fantastic. Men, women, try it. Amazing. The salicylic acid, if you've got a dry, itchy scalp and you don't know how to treat it, the salicylic acid one will be absolutely gorgeous. So definitely give it a go. Right, guys, leave me a comment below. Have you tried any of these? They're recently new on the market, so I don't know whether you've had the chance to try any of them yet. Are you going to try any of them out? What are like your go-to hair care products? I know nothing about hair care. It's not my area of expertise. I know nothing. I'd love, leave me a comment below. I'd love to know. And are you going to be switching up to any of these and give them a go? Leave me a comment. If you could like this video, it really helps the channel. It helps um, YouTube know that the quality of the content is bang on point and that they'll promote the video more, which just helps out our channel. So thank you so, so much if you do give this a like. And wherever you are in the world, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.